Good morning. Welcome back to Casa Tex Pina. We're on build day number 87. It's Friday, which means tomorrow is payday. Yes, these guys get paid on Saturday. <clears throat> um, today, the uh, gentlemen are continuing with the plaster coating that they've been working on for uh, so long. Uh, still working on plaster coating on the exterior of the building. Um, they are also working on um, the remaining roof beams and columns um, throughout the back part of the house today. Um, over the, what is it, the breakfast nook and the dirty kitchen area. Um, also, a little later on when the uh, welders get in, they will be continuing with the extending the uh, roof ridge, that, that long lateral beam. <clears throat> They'll be continuing with that today, as well as getting ready to start coming down on this side of it, uh, just to, to get the other, the other corner, the other end of the house. Um, that's my understanding of what they're gonna be doing today. Um, as they come in and start getting to their workstations and start moving, um, I'll take you around and show you. So let's get started. Everybody's getting in place this morning, getting things moving. We're removing forms from concrete that was poured over yesterday and the day before. Um, Mr. Maravich here with one of the welders. They're setting up their um, scaffolding to continue out this way towards the north end of the house. They're uh, extending that, that ridge beam, uh, the, the roof ridge that's coming along here, uh, the web truss roof ridge. They're extending that today, uh, and I believe they're going to try and find this end today and at least put the first couple of uh, trusses down this direction. <clears throat> they want to get that main, that main uh, roof ridge in place. Uh, we're continuing with plaster coat here on the front. Some of it with all the, uh, we had a, a heavy rain last night and some of the, the uh, some of the plaster kind of sl sloughed a little bit. So we got a little thick on the bottom. Um, so they're gonna chip that out and redo it <clears throat> Still continuing with a little bit of the um, Plaster coat here in the front as well on the bay windows <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go take a look inside. I believe I saw mr. Tuck in the bedroom three bed uh, guest side of the house um, still chipping some more um, conduits Let's take a look over on this piece coming in the main door. The gentlemen are still working on removing the forms from underneath of the ceiling, underneath the attic slab. So they're going to leave the uh, braces in place for the beams. I got it right today. It's for the beams uh, and they're removing all the rest of these uh, floor jacks and the, the forms from underneath. They're also, we've got a lot of uh, door frames. Those are going in throughout the house. Looking over on this side, <clears throat> we've got Mr. Mr. Anto. Over here, putting up uh, window sills. And the welder, uh, Mr. Donde, is getting people prepped to uh, move all their equipment from the master bedroom side over to the north side of the house. Also back here, um, we have a couple guys that are gonna be putting forms on the roof beams up here above the breakfast nook and dirty kitchen area as well as getting ready to prep for plaster coating on this wall here on the outside of the uh, utility room so that's about where everybody's at this morning and as things start moving along I'll show you more pictures all right let's go do a mid-morning walk around real quick um, the welders initially right here on the side are putting extensions on uh, some of the trusses so they're joining them together um, as they extend they've extended the roof ridge 
out. So we may be using these for trusses. We'll have to watch and see. Um, as they start putting them together, I'll show you guys where they're at. Looks like they've got a lot more. Ah, just mortar mix. So you got somebody doing a lot of, a lot of plaster coating. And that's probably over here because Mr. Ben and his crew look like they're fairly busy with the plaster coat. See. So they're all working the plaster coat on this side. Try to stay out of the young man's way. So they're bringing their plaster coat supply to them, the mortar that they use for the plaster coating. So the way this works, these guys are using the plaster coating. They do this little plop plop method. Um, see here much. Plop it in place. They'll use that trowel, go back, smooth it out, and they've got string line down here that tells them how thick they need to make it. So you can see Mr. Ben over here. Load his trowel up with his pallet up with. This is another method of doing it. You're going to make it over a long span. Instead of doing the plop plop, they'll put a whole lot on a trowel and spread it all the way up. Now they'll keep doing this until they get it to the right thickness, which is usually about an inch to an inch and a half, um, that they'll make it that thick on the outside. Then they'll come back with the trowels and smooth it. They'll let it dry a little bit and they'll start screeding it, which we'll show you a little bit later. All right, let's go see where everybody else is at. Whoops, sorry. Tripped over their stuff. Ah, he's doing the he's doing the cornering on the top, top of the windowsill. Yeah, a little bit of plop. You're gonna plop it up in place. See? See you, Yeah. See, it all sticks up there, and then a little bit it'll smooth it out. It'll have a nice smooth finish on it show you what the finished product looks like right here that's what the finished product looks like so they have to plop that up there a little bit at a time and over here we see Mr. Tark is covering up some of the uh, conduit that he's been chipping in so he roughs in the conduit and is such a nice guy he goes back and does the plaster coating himself to fill in the holes all right, where's everybody else at? Oh, we're getting a little grass cut over on the other side of the street. The uh, subdivision has maintenance guys that go around and takes care of the, uh, the large uh, areas that do not have uh, owners yet or do not have a house built on it. And they will uh, clean all that out. They'll uh, cut that down probably about once a month. This uh, subdivision is rather large, so it takes them a little while to get all that done um, okay here in the so we're still working on removing the beams oh, sorry the uh, forms and uh, the supports that were up there to hold the support the, the forms in place so we should be able to see the, the kitchen ceiling or at least the bottom half of the oh, the bottom portion of the attic floor slab over the kitchen area here shortly, probably a little later this afternoon. I'll show that. All right, coming back through the, the living room. Wow, this is so nice to be able to walk this walk through here. Um, anyway, coming back through the, the, the area here, Mr. Anjo is almost finished with the um, windowsill that he started this morning. So he's putting in the mortar to, to make it smooth, uh, all can all together. All right, and then here on the back of the uh, house, they are continuing with the uh, plaster coat over the garage area and main uh, utility room. And down here, these two gentlemen are building the forms that are going over the remaining pieces of. Uh, exposed rebar uh, for the um, 
Dirty Kitchen, oh sorry, Dirty Kitchen and Breakfast Nook. Talking with the uh, welding foreman. He says this long piece of truss here is going to come from the top of the roof ridge down to the outside wall here. So they're gonna put that in place um, later this morning as soon as they get it all put together. All right, come back over here. They've gotten to the next step here. You can see Mr. Ben's taking a screed going along, make sure they've got it all straight. It's level, no big uh, bumps out in the middle of the, the wall anywhere. So they'll screed that off and then they'll go back over it with a water and a trowel and smooth it out some more. All right, the other thing that we're doing, they're starting to move this uh, truss up into place. Um, and this is gonna go from the top of the roof ridge up here down to the edge of the wall. This will be one of the first things to help hold that in place. start looking around post lunch um, top half of the utility room garage area plaster coat has been completed um, mr. Jericho and mr. Justin are working on the second half now starting to work in the corner let's go take a look on the inside <clears throat> Guys are starting to work the uh, forms for the remaining uh, roof beams that are going around. And these two gentlemen here are still pulling, pulling off, uh, good afternoon, still pulling off uh, forms from the concrete slab, uh, attic floor slab. So far, concrete looks really good. Very happy with it. Back on the front side of the house, they have connected the ridge beam all the way across and the first truss coming down on the north side. Trust me. How's that say? Oh, trust me, it's going to look good. Yes, trust me. <laughs> In case you haven't figured out, I like the dad jokes. Lots of puns. A little more plaster coat still working. Now they're going to start doing the uh, cornering for the windows. Make sure those are nice. And these guys are still, the, the welders are still working uh, extensions. Uh, they're they're uh, putting a couple of these together. And then they're going to move it up into place here shortly. All right, take a quick look at what they're working on for the roof truss today. The roof framing plan. So yesterday and today they went, they were working the extension of this roof ridge this is the main roof ridge for the house so this they connected from partially over this direction the rest of the way up to where I showed you earlier on the video um, they connected this truss that came down to the side of the building and right now i'm about to show you they're working this truss right here to get it put into place so let's go ahead and take a look out on the site and see what they're doing. Okay, so as you can see, they've already got the main one, uh, the main roof ridge connected. The first truss coming down the north face is already here. And the one I just showed you that I said that we're gonna be working on will go from that same point uh, where the gentleman with the, the blue hat is up here on the top. It's gonna go from there down to this corner 
So this is a very long truss. This is what they're working on now. That'll be uh, the defining corner for this side of this side of the roof line, as well as the front piece as well. So the front half of the, the roof will be defined by that same ridge, or that same truss. Okay. It's heavy, it ain't light, and it is difficult to move. So they're doing a little bit at a time, lifting it all up by hand. All right, I'll show you guys on the drone a little bit uh, what all this looks like after it gets connected. do a walk around just before closing time um, the welders have put in two of the trusses on the north side so they extended the roof ridge and both of these trusses um, they're working now to locate where this one is gonna go it should be actually almost right above mr. Joseph's head which means if the bar, if the beams were done across the, the top of the um, top of the garage door opening, they would be able to put it there. But since it's not there yet, what they're gonna do is put a, a standing support like what you see here and here, and they're gonna put that here and uh, put another, uh, another truss going this way. Um, they'll probably work on that tomorrow. They're just getting stuff in, in location until they actually ring the doorbell to head out. Um, 
in the interim, or in the meantime, as some people say, I believe the correct phrase is in the interim. Um, looks like we've made some concrete, a little soupy on the concrete, but we made some concrete. And they're placing that on the uh, forms that they built on the other side of the uh, dirty kitchen area. All right, let's go back around. Okay, the plaster coating here on the outside of bedroom number two was completed today, top and bottom. Mr. Jojo over here in the front is uh, doing the fine tuning on the bay window. Um, from what I understand, this is going to have a sloped roof off of the top. Uh, so you'll have the main roof coming off of the, the top of the building. It'll drop down a little bit and then there'll be a, the bay roof, or the bay window will have its own roof, a very small one. Okay, going back around the building. See if we can run to the back of the back of the house. Miss Simi holding down the fort. Hi. <laughs> and on the back side of the house, Mr. Justin and Mr. Jericho have finished. Uh, the back wall here of the utility room and this is where they are pouring the concrete up on top so uh gary hey gary they're uh pouring that piece of a a beam you were asking about uh, so they're going to connect all that together So that'll finally be all poured together today. Uh, they'll pull these forms off tomorrow. So this will take care of the dirty kitchen, the wall between the dirty kitchen and the breakfast nook, and this wall between the breakfast nook and the, uh, the back porch here. Now, on the inside of the house, <clears throat> they have removed all of the forms from the ceiling looking very nice all right so we're still leaving the uh, leaving the the jack stands here in place for the uh, for the beams uh, for another week or two um, I was told by one of the, the workers a week, I was told by the engineer too, so we'll see what happens. Either way, it should be good because we started working four weeks ago uh, as soon as they released us to start working after the, the uh, COVID deal here. Mr. Uh, Edmonds over here breaking up a lot of the, the loose concrete and excess mortar um, from around the sides inside the house so we get back down to actually just fill material. Um, over here in the office area, Mr. Tuck is assisting with plaster coating. That's pretty much a gist of the interior. Let me go down here and look inside the, the guest bedroom side of the house. Ah, they've been plaster coating crazy down here too. Wow, looking good. This is uh, Mr. Ben and Mr. Totoy. So they worked on the top half. Um, they got it to a rough status. Um, looks like they may be starting to get ready to do a little bit of screed work. Um, hopefully they get to screed a little bit of it before uh, Yabba Dabba Doo time. So. All right, it's Yabba Dabba Doo time. You know what that means? It's cleanup time. Um, guys have been really busy today. Um, we got two trusses up. We got the rest of the roof ridge done. Um, they started to put the bar across the top up here so that they've got something to support the truss that's going to work on tomorrow. We finished pouring concrete on the other side by the dirty kitchen and lots of plaster coating front and back of the house. Uh, a couple of window uh, moldings got put on. Um, a lot of things going today. 
it's a good Friday. Um, hmm. So we'll be back tomorrow with more of this great fun. So we hope you come back and join us tomorrow. If you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.